Hello folks, welcome back. This is Kweku. I'm a pharmacist. This channel is dedicated to healthcare information as well as pharmacy stuff. So feel free to hit the subscribe button if this is something that you find interesting or useful. Today we'll be reviewing the medication prednisone. We will take a brief look at the description as well as some common uses, some side effects, and some counseling tips or some best practices. Before we go any deeper though, just wanted to remind you that this video is for informational purposes only, and please do not use it as a substitute for medical advice from your doctor. Prednisone is a corticosteroid. It is primarily used to treat inflammation of the skin, the joints, the lungs, and some other organs. Some of the more common conditions that prednisone may be used to treat include asthma, allergies, and in some cases, arthritis. It's also been used in renal transplant rejection. That is when somebody has a kidney transplant, they may be given prednisone to prevent their body from rejecting the new kidney that they received. It is marketed under the brand names Deltasone, Steropred, and Steropred DS. Some common side effects include weight gain, fluid retention, and increased appetite. While this is a relatively common side effect, typically it, especially with the weight gain, it usually happens over a prolonged period of time or if you attend taking it for an extended period of time. So for example, if you're doing just a three-day course of a prednisone to take care of some inflammation going on, I don't necessarily expect that such a person to gain weight, usually the long-term. Headaches have also been reported, confusion, excitement, and restlessness. This excitement and restlessness may make it difficult for some people to fall asleep. So generally, if it is possible, it's recommended that you take prednisone or any steroid for that matter as far away from bedtime as possible. Nausea and or vomiting have also been reported. As well as some skin conditions, uh, prednisone has been known to aggravate acne in some people. Now these group of side effects, which may be generally common relative to some of the other ones, they tend not to be serious and they tend not to require, you know, calling your doctor or anything like that. Most of them resolve on their own or they resolve when you stop taking the medication. The next set of side effects though, these are relatively rare, but sometimes or for the most part, they may require you reaching out to your doctor because they can be serious. They include impaired wound healing. So prednisone has been noted to cause a delay in wound healing for some people, especially if you are diabetic. Prednisone has also been known to cause changes in vision. So if you notice any changes in vision while on prednisone, it may be a good idea to just touch base with your doctor just to, you know, be on the safe side. Pancreatitis, which is inflammation of the pancreas, has been reported, as well as gastrointestinal perforation. There's also been reports of serious mood changes or depression. And anytime there are any kind of serious mood changes or depression, it's very necessary that it has to be addressed. And therefore, I would highly recommend that you reach out to your doctor if after taking prednisone, you experience this kind of thing. Syncope has also been associated with people taking prednisone. Uh, syncope is a, a phenomenon where people either faint or pass out. And it's generally caused by a decreased blood flow to the brain. Obviously, if you pass out after taking any medication, it definitely requires medical attention. So that is something that has to be taken seriously. While this group of side effects are rare, these are the ones that I would recommend that you definitely reach out for medical help immediately you notice any of these. Now, some best practices or precautions. Well, prednisone has been known to reduce the immunity and increase the probability of getting infections. So therefore, it is very necessary that, especially if you are at risk of developing an infection, to take the extra precautions, you know, the washing of hands, avoiding areas of high risk of infection, you know, setting hospital areas if you can to avoid them while you're on prednisone. Also, it may be a good idea to discuss your diet with your doctor or a dietitian because there may be a need to reduce your salt intake if you're on prednisone. This is usually for the long term. I mentioned the side effect of it causing fluid retention. If this is combined with a diet high in salt, then obviously you are aggravating the situation and you increase your chances of more weight gain and more fluid retention. Prednisone has also been known to cause an increase in blood sugars and therefore monitoring is definitely recommended, more so if you're already diabetic. It is also not recommended in the first trimester of pregnancy. It may cause harm to the fetus, so not in recommended in the first trimester of pregnancy. 
Now, if used for longer than six weeks, there's been reports of increased eye pressure. For this reason, people who already are prone to such issues, people who have glaucoma or any kind of issues with your eyes, it's definitely worth monitoring and letting your doctor know about this beforehand, before even you start taking their prednisone. Prednisone and corticosteroids in general are known to cause a delay in the growth of children or impair the growth of children. So growing children should be monitored to make sure that they are hitting all their milestones necessary. And if anything is identified, usually they will make adjustments, they will find alternatives. But it is worth noting that if your child is on prednisone for a long term, it has the potential to impede their growth and development. So definitely worth taking note of. With all that said, prednisone is very common medication. It is prescribed and dispensed to millions of people worldwide on a daily basis. Most of these things that I've discussed primarily have to do with long-term use. However, it is definitely worth noting so that if there are any precautions that you need to take, you go ahead and take them. So another high level review of the medication prednisone. If you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. But most importantly, keep following your doctor's instructions and uh, stay safe out there. I'll see you on the next one.